We all know that this is the source of all nutrition for humans. They put the nutrients in the water, it dissolves, and then we can ingest them and become stronger and healthier and whatever. So if that's the number one source of nutrition for humans, what is the number one source of nutrition for plants, especially hydroponic plants? I've been using the General Hydroponics three-part series for years, and it's worked, it's worked great. It's worked fantastic, fantastically? Great, I know grammar, it's worked great. And I would recommend it to anybody. But the only reason I used it is because when I first started out, I walked into the hydroponics store and I said, Mr. Hydroponics man, or teenager, Mr. Hydroponics teenager, I need some nutrients. He said, great, use this. This is the stuff NASA uses to grow stuff in space. And I thought, that's amazing, but I need to grow stuff on Earth. He said, it will also work for Earth, which I think that's, that's good. Because then you hedge your bets, because if you ever need to grow stuff in space, you can, you've got your, you're prepared. And I, th I think China actually germinated a cotton seed on the first far side of the moon recently, which is good because like, you need cotton, especially when we get there. We don't want to have to bring our own cotton. Cotton's heavy. Um, and plus, we, they can make those t-shirts that say, you know, I went to the moon or whatever souvenir you get when you go to the moon. Sorry, back to the matter at hand. But I ran out. I ran out of fertilizer and I thought, well, okay, I'm going to go get some more. Do I want to get the dry stuff or the liquid stuff? Because I've used the master blend before. I used it in my garden uh, where I had tomatoes growing. Dutch bucket tomatoes, hydroponic tomatoes. And they use a lot of fertilizers. It just was not cost effective to use the general hydroponic stuff. Plus, I'd still have to add calcium. There's not enough calcium in there. And uh, the master blend stuff has all the calcium they need. You put the calcium nitrate in. It's just tricky, though. It's, you've got to weigh it out. You've got to mix it. You've got to mix it in the right order so that the calcium nitrate doesn't fight with the other stuff and it all dissolves properly. Um, it's just kind of tricky. And, and as I was starting to grow stuff in my basement again without my liquid fertilizer, which I had been measuring, by the way, with this shot glass, which has measurements on the side. I'll put a link in the description of this below. This thing is invaluable if you're growing indoors, small scale. Get yourself one of these. Um, I've been measuring it out and I'm like, oh my, this is just so much easier to just use the liquid stuff. You pour it in the measuring cup, you pour it in the water and you're done. With the master blend, you gotta weigh it out. And I know, I know, I'm lazy. It's just like a small thing, but still, I didn't wanna have to deal with it. So I decided to get some more liquid nutrients. But this time, I'm gonna get the best. So I went to the store, and I found a hydroponic store in Colorado where the man really knows what he's talking about. He's got a master's in various things, and I've talked to him before, and I thought, I'll go ask him what he thinks is the best. So I went in there, I said, Mr. Hydroponics Man, I need some nutrients. And he said, what for? I said, I'm growing stuff hydroponically. And he said, what have you been using? And I said, General Hydroponics three-part series. And I measure it in this thing. And he said, well, have you been unhappy with it? And I said, no, I've been very happy with it. It's worked great. It's been worked fantastically. He said, well, then why would you want to change it? That's actually my favorite. I prefer that. And I said, well, that's interesting. Well, tell me why. Tell me about, teach me about nutrients. And he said, okay. As far as this shop is concerned, there are three types of nutrients. There's your synthetic nutrients, which is water soluble, which is what the general hydroponics stuff that I've been using is, the general hydroponics synthetic nutrients. There's your organics, which are not water soluble. And there is your mixture of the two. The synthetic fertilizer means it's water soluble. Uh, nitrogen is nitrogen, phosphorus is phosphorus, potassium is potassium. They're each their own little thing and the plant can absorb them readily, which is why they work so well and plants can absorb them so easily because they're just ready to go. The plant sucks them up. Organic fertilizers, meaning not water soluble, are complex molecules. Calcium phosphate instead of just calcium and phosphorus. The plant does not want calcium phosphate. The plant wants calcium and phosphorus. So how do you get the plant to absorb these things? Well, you can't. If you just put the organic nutrients in the water, they're not available for the plant to absorb. So it doesn't work. So what do you do? You have to introduce bacteria, mycorrhizae, other beneficial bacteria that will break apart the nutrients that the plant needs, make them available to the plant, and in return, the plant gives them sugars and things that it needs to survive. A symbiotic relationship, if you will. And that's how most of the world works. That's how all the plants in the world grow. They're growing in the dirt, in the soil. Unless, of course, you're giving your plants synthetic nutrients, which does nothing to build up the soil health, which is why people compost and all that other stuff. They've got the bacteria, whatever else they need. <sighs> okay, so two kinds, synthetic, organic, or mix, right? If you're growing hydroponically and you're dumping your water out every seven to 10 days or every couple weeks, you're throwing away that beneficial bacteria so it doesn't really benefit you to build up that colony to then just throw it away. So unless you're growing in like a cocoa core bucket or something or something else where you're putting water in and taking water out, adding nutrients, and you've got some place to maintain that colony of bacteria, it doesn't make sense to use the organic nutrients. Uh, so stick with the synthetic, he said. Stick with the, synthet stick with the synthetic nutrients. 
Well, I said, well, that's what I'm doing. I'm growing hydroponically. I'm growing in a Dutch bucket. Uh, sorry, I'm growing in a deep water culture or an ebb and flow or a cracky where I throw the water away every few days or I put it on my compost pile or I put it in my garden. And he said, well, then go with the synthetic because that works great and it will continue to work great. So what did I go with? You're dying to know, I'm sure. I went with the general hydroponics three-part series. This is the Flora Grow, there's flora, this is the Flora Micro, there's Flora Bloom, and Flora Grow. Each has a different function, each has different nutrients in it. On the back it tells you what they are. There's also an application table which tells you how much to apply and how you can fine tune it based on the, the uh, life site, the, the stage of life in which your plant finds itself, vegetative, mild vegetative, seedling, etc. Um, he's told me cut that in half. Whatever this says, cut it in half. Save yourself some money. So I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try cutting this amount in half and seeing if that works better for me or it works as well, and if it doesn't, it's an easy thing to change, right? I just up it, I just double it. I put it in this thing, like, and I just pour it in. It's super easy. Get one of these. Um, link in the description below. One other thing. This, he said, will keep, this seems like a lot, especially if you're only using a quarter teaspoon per gallon of water. If you're just growing super small scale, this seems like a lot, right? This might last a long time. He said, in its unopened state, this will keep for four years. Once it's open, it'll keep for about two years. He said, there's one easy way to tell if it's still good or bad. You take a little bit of it, you take a clear jar or clear glass, and you put a little bit of the nutrient in it. If it mixes up and swirls in, you mix and you can't see it, or it tints the water a little bit, you're good to go. If it settles out, it means that the nutrients have in here, the elements in here have gotten together and are no longer water soluble. So use it in your outdoor garden, but it won't work in hydroponics anymore. So that's one way to tell if it's still good or not. Okay, I think we're done here. I've talked about the synthetic nutrients, the organic nutrients, the differences between the two. I've seen videos online where they compare, like Master Blend, to an organic nutrient. I wonder if the comparison wasn't fair, now that I understand this a little bit better, because the nutrients were not available for the plant. They weren't broken down. They didn't have the right environment for it. So maybe it wasn't quite a fair comparison. I'll put links to everything in the description below. I'll put a link to the cup, the stuff that I use, the General Hydroponics three-part series, and the organic stuff as well. Uh, it looked interesting. They extracted from kelp. Let me know what your experience is. Have you had good luck or bad luck or what's worked or what hasn't worked? Um, yeah, I'd just like to know. So thanks so much for watching. Oh, I also have this white balance card I've been using. Is my white balance better? Make sure you balance your whites. I'll put a link to this down below in case you're doing videos. You gotta have white balance. I need some nutrients. That's better. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Look at this beautiful fall weather out here. Look at this. Makes me want to grow stuff in my basement. Because I know winter's coming. Walk over here. River. This is like a... This is like a water sports park. Where they built this thing that you can raft down and kayak down. It's pretty awesome. Place to get your kayaks and boats in and out right here. Okay. Seems really hard to swim up that. I don't know what the heck he's trying to do. Oh, that. Oh, he's down. He come out this side. Do it again. Do it again. Yeah, what are you do? That guy up there is doing it making it happen. He's making it happen. Where this guy's at? Can give up? Come on, man, get up. Do it. Do it for my audience. All right, here he comes. He's getting ready. He's taking a breath. Here he goes. Come on, man, you can do it. Cheer him on. No home. Give, give this video a thumbs up to cheer this man on. Go, go, go! You can do it! Come on! Come on! Ah. It's amazing. That guy's still going. Holy crap, he's just surfing there. Look at that. It's freaking awesome. Let's see if we can get closer to that guy. Keep trying, bro. You can do it. Oh, look, that guy made it now. He made it up. Oh, 
That's too bad. I'm not there to see it. Oh, he's down. 